Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to take this simple sales data in Excel and transform it into this slightly nicely formatted but split up data over here using AI. And the most important thing that you're going to get from this tutorial is that I'm going to show you how to craft your own prompt so that you can extend what I've got here. You can format the data so that it looks however you want it to look. You can change the chart type, the chart size. You can set up this worksheet however you would like it to be set up. So you're not just going to be limited to this basic setup here. But the prompt, its structure, and how to change it is going to be the most important part of this tutorial. And to go from this data right here to what I just showed you in the other workbook takes less than a minute. We don't have to use any VBA, we don't have to use any macros, just an AI prompt. So let me show you how that works now and how to get the workbook. Then I'll go through the prompt and show you how to change it for your situation. Side note, this data is from the chat GPT function tutorial. It's a really cool video where I show you how to make your own chat GPT function. Actually, I give it to you for free. Check it out. I think you'll really enjoy it. But now uh, let us copy this and go to chat GPT. We are currently in chat GPT five, but I'm pretty sure the older models will work just as well. Now here is our prompt. All you have to do is to take this prompt, paste it in, then go below where it says table, paste in your table of data, hit enter, then in just a few moments, it'll look like this, and you'll get a result. Your formatted Excel file with individual sheets, tables, and charts for each salesperson is ready. Download it here. You download it, and you've got your workbook. You will really end up saving a lot of time because these are such tedious tasks to split things up like this. And you don't need to type out the entire prompt. Go to teachxl.com and you can download it for free. I'll put a link to it below this video. All you have to do, click the link, go to Teach Excel, sign up, completely free, but you do have to sign up to download the file. Then you can copy and paste the prompt and use it as you need to. Now let's go through it. The very first thing, you are an expert in Excel. Tell it what it is, and then tell it what to do. I'm going to paste a table of sales data after the text table. So this text right here, you will put each person from that table on their own spreadsheet. Each spreadsheet will be formatted the same. Depending on what AI you use, you may need to say worksheet here. Remember, it's not an exact science. You're talking to AI. AI can interpret things slightly different. So the main point is to be as specific as you need to be in order to achieve the desired result. And every ChatGPT model and other AI model, this one's ChatGPT5, will behave a little bit different. Uh, then we say the formatting must be business professional and look good and easy to read. That's not very specific. But I also want to show you that you don't always have to be really crazy about what you say for things that aren't that important. So I don't really care about colors or the exact font size. The most important thing for me is to have all the data split up and charted on different worksheets. In cell A1, there must be the name of the salesperson formatted like a title and bold. Starting in cell A3 will be a table that holds the sales figures for that individual. A3 will be titled quarter and contain the labels for the quarters. B3 titled sales contain the sales amounts. We're going to use this table to generate a chart. The quarterly sales must be charted using a standard line chart that plots all of the results Q1234 on the x-axis and the sales on the y-axis. The title of the chart will be quarterly sales. For things like this, for charts, pivot tables, anything a bit more complex than just the data in the cells, you do need to be very specific. It's illogical in your mind, the quarters will be on the bottom and it will be Q1, 2, 3, and 4, and the sales will be on the left side. But it's not exactly logical for AI all the time. 
So you do wanna put some effort into this part. And there's no concrete rule for when you need to be very specific. How it's gonna work is that you're gonna make a prompt and you're going to find out along the way. And the reason for that is there's always something you didn't think of. But this prompt here should serve as a nice basis for you to create a very powerful little prompt that will work for your data set. Then all we have is return me the spreadsheet with these updates. So make sure that you tell it, hey, give me the spreadsheet. And then we have table, colon, and the data that we pasted in. That's all there is for the prompt, but if you've watched any of my other AI tutorials, then you know that there is so much more that you can do here. A couple of things, you could add a lot of formatting here. It doesn't just have to be like this. You can add bullet points, you can add separators. Let's say you had a very important section. You could separate it like this and make sure that it is very easy to see and understand that it is a very important. You can have numbered sections here. So one period space, then we can go like this two period space and write some more. That's perfectly fine. You want to make it as easy to understand as possible. If it's visually easy for you to understand, it's going to be easier for the AI to understand it. In this example, we didn't need to do that. I'm just giving you a little reminder here that the more complex you get, it can be helpful to add a bit more formatting and structure to your prompt. But that's all I've got for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, and give us a thumbs up. It will really help us out. As well, don't forget to download this file, free on teachexcel.com, link below the video. That's all for now. See you guys next time.